Are we really doing KCS? Hi, this is David Kay of DBK and Associates, and we get this question all the time. In the next five minutes, I'm going to help you answer it yourself. Interest in KCS has exploded. It's not hard to see why. Knowledge management done right brings huge benefits, and KCS is the best way to manage your knowledge. But there's a catch. KCS often isn't done right, and that's when we hear problems like these. There's too much knowledge scattered in too many places. It's just too hard to find, especially for our customers. We're really busy. No one has time to contribute to the knowledge base. It can take forever to get articles approved and published. There's lots of stale, out-of-date junk and duplicate articles in our knowledge base. KCS is designed to address these issues. By capturing, structuring, and reusing knowledge with every customer interaction, we create a single source of truth that contains our collective experience the best we know it at the time. And because we do it while we're helping customers, the knowledge we capture is more findable and usable by them. And it doesn't take any extra time. We also don't have to wait, if we're a licensed contributor, for our knowledge to be approved by anybody else. We can self-approve our content. And because every time we touch content, it's an opportunity to improve it, content stays completely fresh and up to date. Well, that's the theory anyhow. If this isn't happening in your organization, it's probably time to ask, are we really doing KCS? If you can answer yes to these next seven questions, then you're fine. If not, let's talk. Are your staff consistently searching for knowledge while they're doing casework? Linking cases to knowledge articles? Contributing to the knowledge base if they have knowledge to share? Capturing knowledge as they go? Improving content as they use it? License to approve their own content? Clear that knowledge is a big part of their job? If you're not doing all of these things, it's probably time to think about upgrading your knowledge practices. Let's take them one at a time. Knowledge management pays off when everyone takes advantage of it. But sometimes, experts feel like they already know the answers and don't need to search. Or people just don't trust the KB. But if the team members aren't searching throughout the problem resolution process, they're missing out. And the whole organization is, too. Customers want consistent answers. And working from a common knowledge base helps the team speak with a single voice. Also, every use is a review, an opportunity to update knowledge, but you have to find an article to improve it. Sometimes people say it takes too long to search, but doesn't it take even longer to write meaningful case notes? It's quicker to find an article than to retype the information in it. There may be exceptions for the very most common issues, but generally, if you're not consistently searching with most every case, you're not getting the benefit of KCS. Once you've searched and found the right article, you must link to it from the case or the incident. As a practical matter, this requires some technology, a place to store the article ID with the case, a way to report on it, and ideally some automation of the linking process. Without reportable article links, you're flying blind. You can't report on two fundamental KCS metrics, participation rate and reuse rate, as well as other important measures like citations. Even worse, you aren't able to track your contact drivers to know where to invest in product improvements and evolve loop content. No links, no KCS. Maybe not everyone contributes to the knowledge base, especially in lower complexity centers. But if you're expected to come up with new answers, you should be contributing your knowledge, full stop. Sometimes I hear people talk about how they're doing KCS, but team members recommend content, which then goes to gatekeepers or knowledge managers. That's not KCS. That's just business as usual with good makeup. Capturing knowledge as you go is hard. No one starts out doing it well. But it's so important to making KCS work, we're still going to hold you to it. The idea is that you create the knowledge base article as you go along. When people tell you why they're calling, you write it down and use it to search. As you learn more about their environment, suspect a root cause, and deliver an answer, you write it down. By the time you're done helping the customer, you're done with the KB article, give or take a couple of minutes of cleanup. Now, there are reasons why this may not happen in the knowledge base initially. Maybe it happens in the case notes. Details vary. But the core idea is simple. If you wait until you close the case to capture the knowledge, you're not doing KCS. As I mentioned, a core KCS concept is that every use is a review. Anyone can create a knowledge base. The real trick is keeping it up to date. People need to be flagging and fixing knowledge as they go. So track edit rates. In a mature knowledge base, they may be way higher than create rates. Make sure everyone knows they have not only permission, but also the obligation to update and improve content, even if the most senior person on the team wrote it. 
If you're the one who solved the customer's problem, so far as KCS is concerned, you're officially the expert. Does content go through a review process before it's approved or published? If you have a review queue, you're probably not doing KCS. Now, there are situations when regulations effectively force a review before external publication. And while organizations are just getting the hang of KCS, it's perfectly okay to wait until knowledge has been reused a couple of times before publishing. But at a minimum, there should be no delay for licensed participants to share knowledge internally. No review queue, no rejections. By the way, this requires that KCS licenses aren't given out casually. You have to earn them, and you have to do good work to keep them. A strong licensing model is what lets you skip the reviews. I once had an executive say to me, this knowledge stuff is great, but I have a business to run. He's right, he does have a business to run, but I think it's a different business than he thinks. Closing cases quickly and well is important, of course, but knowledge is at the heart of what all support organizations do, whether they know it or not. Knowledge helps people solve cases better. It empowers customers to help themselves. It guides product improvements so customers don't need to call. So we should make knowledge an explicit part of the organization's charter. We should hire for knowledge skills and develop them. We should measure and report on knowledge, and it should be a big part of everyone's reviews and promotions. Because if you think your organization's business is just closing cases, KCS will never really take off. So here's your checklist. You can download a copy from our website. If you can't say yes to all of these, then gather your team together and decide if you want to upgrade your program. So the next time somebody asks, are we really doing KCS? You can answer, we certainly are. Thanks for listening. We'd like to know what you think. Please leave your comments below, and we encourage you to share this video with your colleagues. Thank you.